So um, I'm out on my RS19 around uh, a little common near where I live. Um, I'm testing out the new off-road tire that I've um, that I recently changed. So I had a stock um, row tire on the RS19, and it was fine, but it wasn't great for off-roading. It uh, train trapped a lot and didn't have enough grip for what I needed. And 90% of the riding I do is off-road. Um, I'll put the, uh, the the details of what the actual tyre is called uh, down here. But um, I wanted to see how, how good it was and I haven't really had a chance to get out. Now, unfortunately, it has been raining for the last week, so the paths are atrocious. So I'm going to carry on riding, um, but so far so good. Um, it's held up really well. It's been sliding all over the place, um, but actually the grip on the tyre has, has dug in, which is really good which is kind of what I wanted. Um, temperature wise and everything will have a factor in and the battery, so it'd be interesting. I'm not gonna do a long ride today. This is only about, I don't know, four miles, something like that, there and back, or five miles. Um, so we'll see how, how well it goes.
and um, see what uh, what this tire is tires like. Um, this tire was I was it was I bought it from E Rides. Um, they were not sponsored, but shout out to them. Quick, reliable service. So if you do want any of your unicycle bits and pieces, especially in the UK and Europe, get to E Rides. I put a link in the description below as well. Um, fantastic sort of uh, bunch of guys and uh, really know their their stuff around unicycles. So check them out. Anyway, on with the ride. So um, it's really sloppy and messy out there in terms of lots of mud and things like that. It's made it a bit more challenging than what it normally is along here. Um, but I must say the tyre is handling exceptionally well. Um, I'm not going particularly mad along here. It's it's too slippery and everything to do that, but it's been pretty good. And I've got to say a shout out. Forgive me, I can't, I can't remember the guy's name. Uh, we went out for a ride in Milton Keynes with Tom and a few other unicyclists and he mentioned about a horn uh which is there so a traditional horn worked an absolute treat so thanks for that if you're on carve uh give me a shout and uh, we'll go out for a ride um yeah it's um it's really cold and really, really mucky out there 
But like I said, tyres doing exceptionally well.
So um, I think successful test all round, to be honest. Um, I've just um, stopped, um, just checked the wheel over, make sure that, you know, it's on properly. Uh, there's no, you know, pinches in the rim or things like that. It's the first kind of real test since I've changed the tire. And it's the first time I've ever changed the tire on a unicycle. I'm not gonna say it was easy, it was a lot of swearing. Hence the reason there's not a video for it, because there was a lot of swearing. Um, and this particular one, the RS19, it's a bit of a ball leg. I'm sure once you get used to it and you do it a few times, it's fine. But I must say, the on some of these these paths and these muddy sort of trails, the the tire's been fantastic. Um, I think I've done about four four and a half miles into two towns over along these trails now these are usually obviously really good during sort of dry months and things like that but it's it's caked in mud and puddles and all sorts of slippery mud and it's just handled it like a champ um so really recommended tire again detail long here um it's been a really cold challenging morning in terms of riding but it's been fun um Went into a little village up the road. Lots of people uh, that, you know, little village that probably hadn't even seen anything like this before. Just went, what's that? Uh, kind of that, as you went past. So that was that was funny. Um, and yeah, it's, it's it's been a really um, cracking ride so far. So I'm gonna head home. So I'm gonna be a little bit more footage of riding back. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.